And Dynamics 365 supports the existing extensibility capabilities that you're already using today with Dynamics CRM, AX, and NAF. So if you're building solutions using XRM with AX or NAF today, they'll continue to work in Dynamics 365. And we're continuing to enhance and improve the XRM, AX, and NAV extensibility models with new features and new capabilities. With Dynamics 365, we're also introducing powerful new extensibility capabilities that enable you to build composite applications that can work against all the data that's stored in Dynamics 365 applications, as well as data stored outside of Dynamics 365. Our new common data model surfaces all the data stored within Dynamics 365 across a common set of entities that model data across all the different business applications we have, sales, customer service, operation, financials, and more. And what's great is that we also integrate entities from Office 365 in the common data model as well. This means if you set up meetings, for example, with a customer to discuss a sales opportunity, the opportunity entity in the Dynamics 365 sales app will be automatically linked to the meeting entity inside Office 365. And the entities that are available in the common data model go far beyond just what's inside Dynamics 365 and Office 365 out of the box. You can in fact add your own entities as well as integrate ones from partners. And this gives you an incredibly powerful way to model all your data across all your business processes that can span across literally every system within your organization and which you can then seamlessly extend and accelerate uh, all your business apps and all your productivity solutions. And to make it even easier to build composite applications and to build processes that can span across all these different systems, we introduced this year our new Power Apps and Microsoft Flow tools. Power Apps and Flow make it possible to build solutions that work both with the common data model as well as data stored in existing systems and other data sources. And with Power Apps and Flow, you can build apps uh, and forms without having to be a professional developer. In fact, if you know PowerPoint and Excel, you can now build a business application that works not just in a browser, but also as a native mobile app on any Windows, iOS, or Android device. And what I'd like to do is invite Amir Netz on stage to show off Power Apps and the common data model and demonstrate how you can use them to adapt Dynamics 365 to literally any business environment. Here's Amir. Thank you, Scott. The common data model is at the foundation of Dynamics 365. It has hundreds of entities ent expertly defined in it that are optimized to run your business. You find here entities like account and invoice and, and product. Now, this is a common data model, which means it's common to all of you, it's common to all of your applications, it is common to hundreds of millions of users of Office 365 and Dynamics 365 that will have access to it. And it is adaptable. When I go into the product entity, you'll find that in addition to dozens of uh, fields that our experts have defined, you can find your own custom fields in here. You can add your own custom fields, you can add your own custom entities, so you can build anything with it. And the kind of thing that you can build are pretty amazing. This common data model right now doesn't look visually very appealing, but look at this application here. This application is built on top of the common data model of Dynamics 365, and it is, it's kind of beautiful. It's designed for the mobile device. It has shown us a product catalog. It allows us to, an to analyze uh, categories of products. So I can go in here, look at the individual product, maybe rank it, maybe look at the Power BI dashboard embedded inside the application. And what's really cool about it is that any one of you can build such an application because it doesn't require a single line of code. It is all built on top of Power Apps. So this is Power Apps, and as Scott says, it's kind of like PowerPoint for building applications. Each one of the screens here is, is like a slide, and you have your kind of screen sorter in here, and to build a, in one of those screens, it's just like positioning visuals inside the PowerPoint slide. So we're going to build one of those. Uh, first, we would like to create a form here that allows us to submit a new product for the analysis. So we're going to insert here uh, a form to fill in data, and we're going to connect, first of all, we're going to position the form on the screen to the right position. That's not bad. And we're going to connect it to data. So we're going to go to that product table we've seen there in the common data uh, model. And we're going to look, and these are the fields that are showing up there. And we're going to go here, we're going to take the product name. And we're going to take here, we'll go all the way down, we're going to take here the rating of the product, the, qu the quantity available, and maybe even the style category. Now, you can see it's just one click, and the field shows up on the screen in a very visual way, but it's more than that. 
I can go and customize it because the common data model holds a lot of metadata about those fields. It really knows how to offer me the right visuals. So for example, for ratings, it's not a small integer. So it says, how about you do the rating of the star rating? And for the quantity available, that one, I think, a slider is the most appropriate one. And for the style category, since the common data model knows what kind of uh, values are available there, it's just, it just ready to go. I don't have to do anything. Now, as I said, this, this application is really optimized for a mobile device. So it has access to all these unique capabilities of a mobile device. For example, I can go in and connect to the GPS of the device, or I can connect to the camera of the device. So let's add the camera here. Now we have a camera control. You can see the, the live feed from the camera of my surface here. I'm going to just resize it a little bit. Actually, let's keep it like this. And uh, what I want to do, I want to take snot, uh, photos, and I want to capture them in a gallery of photos. So I'm going to insert an image gallery as well. Let's add this one here. Again, move it to the right place, resize it a little bit, and we're almost done. Uh, just one more thing here. We haven't added any logic. And this is where the kind of the Excel nature of Power Apps comes into play. To add logic, you don't have to write lines of code, but you can write formulas. So for example, here, what I want to do is, whenever somebody is using the, the camera, and we're going to go here for the on, on, oh, come on, on select, what we want to do here is, uh, we want to go and write a formula. And the formula will be, co we're going to collect into the photos collection. We're going to collect from the, cam from the camera. We're going to collect the, uh, the photo. And now we have, every time somebody uses the camera, a new photo is added to the collection. And we're going to bind that image gallery to that photos collection. Now let's check if it's working. I don't even have to run the, pro the, the, the product in order to see if it's working. I'm just going to go and, and try to, to click here. And I guess it's not working. <laughs> I probably did, oh yeah, I did something here uh, into, yeah, okay, let's see. No, I'm, I got it wrong. But I do have a backup one, so let's, uh, let's run it. Oh, here you go, it is working, great. Okay, so. <laughs> It is working, okay. So, so let's run it from the top here. I'm going to go here to the, uh, I'm, I'm going to go here to the top form and I'm going to go and, and run it. And I'm going to go and uh, submit a new product that we did before. I'm going to have here a, a men's shoe. And I love that shoe, we're going to add it here. The style category is going to be a, a dress shoe. And uh, uh, we don't have many of those, so we're just going to cut it here. And we're going to capture some photos. So let me just take the shoe off here. Uh, and we're going to take the, the photo here. Uh, actually, I need somebody from back, so I'm working on the backup here. So I need to, maybe you move me to, the, you know, with the backup here. So, uh, oh, can you move it to, here we go. We're going back to primary. Uh, here we go, that's it, the shoe. I want to capture the photo. And I want to capture another photo of the shoe. Uh, Really, you know, so now it's available, right? We're about to submit, I'm going to put it on, I don't used to doing demos with one shoe. Uh, so <laughs> we're, going to, uh, we're going to submit it. Now, submitting a product actually requires a business process. Uh, because if it's a good product, we want to do a competitive analysis of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Microsoft uh, Flow to run the business process. Again, it's a, it's a way to author business processes without a single line of code. You can actually see here the flow chart. And you can see one that is almost ready made. It's one that it says whenever I click the button there to submit in the application, it's going to get a record from the common data model and then check to see if the rating is over three stars. And if so, it's going to notify my team by sending email. And then it's going to go and schedule on exchange a, a competitive analysis meeting. And then we're going to add one more action to show you how easy it is. I'm going to add an action, and it's going to be a push notification. That is, and now I have to fill in the information. What is the text I want to push in here? Well, that's, what's really cool about it is that all the information from upstream in the flow is available for me. For example, I can see here the subject line for my email. So that's going to, what I'm going to push in the push notification to the team, the same subject line from the email. And I'm kind of ready to go, so I'm going to update the flow. And let's see how it works. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to submit. And when I go back, uh, it can take a few seconds. And sometimes when I'm on stage, it takes more than a few seconds. Uh, and it's going to go do the verification, do the authentication. And, uh, and everything goes well, it will start running. And you can see it's running, it's completed here. And we can see here that when we go here to the, to the, to the mail, and I lost my, here we go, we go here to the mail, 
uh, we can see here that we actually have a new mail showing up here, and that mail is showing up the, the, you know, the photos that I took. Here's the shoe. You can go in, look at it, and it's kind of beautiful. And there's media on the schedule. The mail have been sent all without a single line of code. Now, that's cool, right? Now, if I like this application, I can use it internally, or I can be more generous and put it up on AppSource. And when I put it up on AppSource, I give it, I give it, I can put it just for the rest of the organization, I can put it for the rest of the community. So anyone who's using the, com the, the common data model can download this application and use it out of the box. And it doesn't really matter if you sell shoes, you sell PCs, or you sell alpacas, you can download it and it will start working for you. So here's how it look like if you are in the latter group. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of pretty cool. Uh, so out of the box, right? So, <laughs> so you've seen how we can go and adapt and extend Dynamics 365 with the common data model, with the Power Apps, and with Microsoft Flow uh, to create brand new, exciting applications and to sell alpacas. Thank you. <laughs>